Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back once more and we are jumping in once again. Let's randomize our character this time. See just who we might get. We get regular Judas. That is fine by me. I need to start adding the modded characters in. I might just start making the modded character series a little more regular instead. I'm not sure. I, I like having the two separate series. It's kind of nice. Uh, but anyways, let's um, have a look. Ooh, bird's eye off the bat. Not modded, but uh, a very, very good item nonetheless. Um, and a room to use our book in straight away. God, I love Book of Belial. It's so nice to have that insane damage up right off the bat. And yeah, having the ability to shoot these fires, while not as good as the uh, the, the bird's eye, the, not the bird's eye chili, the other one. I can't remember what the other one's called now. But it's not quite as good as that one, but it is still very, very good indeed. Oh my God, today, I, I was talking about it in my last episode, but I'm recording on the same day. I had so much pizza. <laughs> there was so much leftover pizza in the fridge. Um, and like, I've been kind of, I had it, I had some for lunch, but I kind of brought it into my my bedroom. Well, it's not my bedroom, it's the room I record in. Um, I kind of brought it in and it's just kind of been sat behind me. I've been picking at it all day and my God, it's, uh, it's eating away at me a little bit. I've eaten just so much pizza. <laughs> it's not exactly a bad thing, but at the same time, it's not exactly a good thing either. You really don't want to be eating copious amounts of, uh, of pizza at all times. And there's still more left. Like, I'm probably going to have pizza as my main meal, which is uh, just kind of crazy, the amount that I've had. I was talking last episode about the uh, the Rudy's pizza as well. Unfortunately, not quite as good as that. But th then again, then again, there's something that has to be said. Ooh, deck of cards. Mm. I'm going to do an odd play here. You can take that off me. And we get this bad boy. And then let's bomb this. It's This is a bit of an odd play. But I kind of like the idea of producing cards when there's so many modded cards at our disposal. I feel like having the ability to produce cards right off the bat is going to be pretty good. The heart thing I feel like isn't that good, but it was it was a freebie. We could have got something much better out of that chest anyways. It wasn't like we were aiming to get this heart specifically. It can be anything from the deliverance thing. I do kind of wish they'd update the deliverance chest to make, make it so it doesn't just drop deliverance items. We're meant to be going blue baby here, but I'm going to go alt path to start anyways. Uh, yeah, I, I wish it'd, like, it'd drop any modded item. Not just deliverance items. I mean, it's kind of nice to have a place to specifically get deliverance items, i got to say. But at the same time, it would be nice to uh, be able to get other things from there too. Because the deliverance item pool isn't exactly huge compared to the other modded pools. I don't know if that's something that they'd be able to do themselves or if other modders have to do. I'm not really sure. Plopping that judgment down there. We don't really care about him. Oh my god, that was close. Have we got... Oh, cool. We got two... Happy poops. Oh, I did not see you there. I did not even pay attention to you. I do wonder if this floor has like a higher chance of spawning happy poops. I'm not totally sure that it does, but I always feel like I find the majority of them on a run on this floor. Demon baby's decent, but yeah. Okay, I was going to say we'll go random and I'm very happy with our uh, our get here. Of course, not a very modded run yet, uh, but looking good. I spot you, Dormimic. God damn it. This is the most annoying room to find because it's just so unbelievably good. Even if you just have one bomb, it's amazing. We don't even have one bomb. Completely worthless. Completely worthless. Do not steal my card charges. Ooh, we got a reflected key. Do you know what? I'll take a reflected key. We got no keys right now. I'm pretty happy with that. It only costs half a heart is the thing. So it makes it pretty worthwhile. Right. Grab that. We got another death card. I'm starting to wonder, does this actually spawn um, cards that are modded? I'm pretty sure it does. Pretty sure it does. Oh, yeah, I, just, I was just like, what the hell is that noise? And then I realized it's like the heart beating from the... Uh, from the the little heart thing we've got following us around. That That's a, that's a really... Ooh, burn hating juice is pretty nice here. Uh, that's a really weird thing about the um, about the human body in general. It's like how uh, this is kind of a weird topic, I know, but it just got me thinking about it. How like certain functions, cer certain like bodily functions that that you do like literally all the time, like your heart beating or like breathing or like 
I don't know, there's quite a few of them. But like, it's so weird how your brain can like completely tune it out or completely sort of make it something you don't have to remember to do or you can completely forget about. But then as soon as you think about it, it is the most active thing in your brain. Like I'm just thinking about it now, like you can't hear or feel your heartbeat, but once you've been exercising and you're thinking about how fast your heart is racing, all you can do is hear your heartbeat. And it's just such a strange thing. Um, and obviously there's the classic one of like, think about breathing. Now you have to breathe manually. And like, think about how uncomfortable your tongue feels. I bet all of you watching this hate me right now. Um, think about how uncomfortable your tongue feels. And then immediately you're like, oh damn, my tongue feels really uncomfortable. It was there. Is this two Yeras? No, there's a Hagen Dars in there as well. Can we do anything with the Hagen Dars? Do you know what? I'm just gonna pop it here and see what happens. Still don't get why they don't open secret rooms. They really should. Uh, I'm not gonna go Devil Deal this time around. Let's just keep on going. It's it's just it's so strange how the, just the human body in general is a bizarre and complicated construct. <laughs> it's just like. How weird, how strange is it that I'm playing a game made by another person on a computer made by another person using a recording software made by another person that's using a coding language made by another person that was coded in an uh, IDE that was made by another person to upload it onto a platform using codecs that was made by another person onto a platform that was made by another person to be watched by another person. Like, what the heck? <laughs> it's just like, the amount of, basically the amount of sort of connections there is between everything. Okay, I just realized that for some reason this heart acts like, um, acts like the, what's the, what the hell is it called? The Emperor. Um, I don't think we want the Emperor. It acts like the, Thingy baby, the one that follows, what the hell is it called? The baby where it follows them all. I don't remember the name of it now. King baby, that's it, king baby. It, it acts like king baby. But yeah, it's just like kind of crazy how like, how many inter intertwining things and intertwining lives it takes to make a video that goes online of me playing a video game for you guys. Like, I don't know, it's strange. Imagine if it was like Hunter Gatherer where everyone had to like make their own things and you you only had a computer if you could make a computer. Um, using slot machines, 30% chance to not consume the coin. Chances double the lucky for each stolen, each coin stolen back gives you 0 0.1 evil, okay. Evil isn't implemented at the moment, so that doesn't really bother me. Okay, there's a mirror. Looks like we won't be going further than this because we don't have the keys for it, but still. Also a mod that adds the, um, the white fire to the minimap, very much like that. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. I suppose we could use the white fire to get that bomb there. Might be a worthwhile thing. I'm pretty sure you can also take reflected stuff for free as the loss too. So using the white fire to do that would also be nice. Really? That hit me? Don't lose my angel deal, you, you fuck. The fires we're, we're putting on this guy right now are pretty good. I'm liking it. Okay, good. We got our angel deal, nice one. And I gotta think about that. It's pretty good. I think deck of cards is better. I like deck of cards more. It's got the potential to be better. Right, uh, so what I wanna do here is go into here. I might die doing this, by the way, but I've got to try it. So if I do this, I should, I should be able to take this for free now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, then we can grab that. Then I can go and bomb this. Grab the soul heart. We'll go do our cash room real quick. Nice. And there you go. Out we go. Pop that real quick so you can get any money. There you go. A single penny. Not bad, not bad. I think we should check our shop as well, honestly. The electric dice is here. I've got to try and find a way to get that. 
It's like my favourite item in the entire game and it's so good with uh, deck of cards. I'm trying to think of a, of a good way to get this. Okay, that's a start. <laughs> that's a start. I think I've got to go Mirror Realm in the hopes that I get two pennies. That's essentially what it comes down to right now. I don't really care about going through the Mirror Realm right now, but... Okay, so there's one penny. There's another key. We just need one more penny. There it is! We did it! The electric dice dream! I don't know why I'm going any further here. Please don't k kill me now. I would be so upset. Okay, do you know what? Let's just bail. Let's just bail before before I make any more mistakes. I'm not going mother, so I don't really care about my knife piece. Can't believe we made it happen. The electric dice dream. I love electric dice. If you haven't picked up on that already, it's one of my favorite items in modding. It's just, it's so basic, but it's so enjoyable. And now we can grab it. Activates our active item between zero and two more times on use. This time we got the moon card. Oh my God, we got two of wands. We got justice. We got the moon card. Could have got a lot of money through here anyways. Nice. We can go get our Yara again. And this is just good stuff. This is all round very good stuff. Thank you, Yara. Away we go. I like my little flaming baby. Hopefully our next uh, angel deal proves a little more fruitful. But so far this is a good run nonetheless. I will check in here real quick. At least there's a free penny, but not much else. Eh, do you know what? I might as well play this a little bit. It's going to give me some burn uh, fragments and some good money. And potentially, later on, a you-know-what, a blood bag. Okay. Taking these fools out. But yeah, it's going to make our uh, spacebar item so much more valuable. And it makes makes me so happy we didn't take Vader uh, Retro. Vader Retro? Vader Retro? I really n never know how to say it. But it makes me very glad I didn't take that, because it wouldn't have worked with electric dice. I just, I, I really enjoy active items, and I love, like, car battery. So, something that's similar, but not the same as car battery, and it's on the same vein, but it does it very differently, is right up my alley. Something I can really get behind. The amount of fighters we're shooting at the minute is kind of hilarious. So we got a sun card there, and we got Hierophon. We got devil, and we got sun. Let's quickly go in here and pop the devil card. Why that bomb drop there? That's stupid. There's a devil card there. We got our secret room here, which lets us into our cash room as well. God damn, that heartbeat's so eerie. The heartbeat is eerie. God damn the fires, I love them. We are a fire starter, a twisted fire starter. I, I still think I want to keep Yera. I don't know where I'm going to use Yera, I'll be honest, but I've just kind of got it in mind. Still can't get that bomb. Dumb piece without spikes, what is this? What a crazy room. Yeah. Robo Baby X, I like it. State of art. State of the art, even. Not state of art. I don't know why he's firing white lasers, but there you go. We go to our shop as well. We got a lot of money here. We lost one of our, uh, our wisps. Oh, no. Okay, so we got foiled the tower. Um, strength. Foiled tower... I, I love using this just because I love the, the visual effects of all the bombs it can drop with the better bombs mod. They all just look so cool. Also, we can destroy a bunch of mushrooms here, which is potentially useful. It ended up being very slightly useful. There you go. 
Calm down, ghosts. Calm down, ghosts. And of course, the big man himself. Our tech baby's a little bit far back in the queue to be super useful, to be honest. I could have yared this room here, but with the uh, with the sheer amount of money we already have with no way to spend it, it doesn't feel like the best usage of our resources. Here's the spike room for the dumpies. Gotta have them. Reflected penny. Do you know what? I'll take it because it's going to trigger my... Uh, there you go. Trigger my um, golden heart. Kind of better to trigger that on my own terms, to be honest. Have it drop where I want them to drop. Extra bomb. God damn, this is a good run. This is a classic modded run. There's nothing super wacky going on. There's just, just some... It's, it's basically like vanilla plus, which is really a, a, how I like my modded runs to be very much so, where, where it's vanilla with added content. And this is very much that sort of style. Like, I feel like we don't have anything super wacky completely taking over the run. That does happen from time to time. But we've just got some, some sort of additions to the vanilla systems. And it just leads to some cool shit. I could go back and, uh, and play my blood bank, but honestly, do I need to? Do I really need to? No, I don't. Fistula. This is Fistula. I don't know how many of you have seen 22 Jump Street, but there's that, that bit in it where um, where Jonah Hill's character is uh, doing the spoken word poetry. Oh, we'll take it. Why not? They're pretty good. Fire right down, but uh, elsewise, elsewise, otherwise pretty good. I don't want to take a scratch card, because scratch cards have, have burned me in the past. Um, I think we'll just take what we have and go. Uh, but yeah, there's that bit where he's doing uh, the spoken word poetry about that the the, the girl that overdosed um, called Cynthia. And he just starts out going, Cynthia. We <laughs> forgive our sins for Cynthia. And I don't know why, but I found it so funny. And every time I see Fistula, it just, it just flows too well. It just flows too well. My god, they, they were good films. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, of comedy movies. Like, still, I think to this day, one of my favourite films is still Superbad, which is, it's such a, like, a dumb sort of teen high school movie, but I, I really enjoy it still to this day. Like, I've seen it so many times, I still absolutely love it. But also, another one that's kind of, like, taken top spot for me sort of in the past, like, year, because obviously your favourite film changes a lot throughout time, but, like, over the past, like, two sort of years, I'd say my, my favourite film has kind of shifted a little bit, or at least become joint with um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I love that film so much. I mean, I love... Um, I love the dude that plays him. What the hell is he called? Michael Cera. Um, I, I, I love Michael Cera anyways. I'll watch basically anything he's in. Um, but it's just, it's just so good. If you have not seen Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, it is so good. Uh, two of Cups. Two of Cups. Um, two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Uh, let's keep going. We've not, we've not really got any, like, absolutely stellar cards yet. We've had one foil. I am glad to see as well that the, uh, the change to the, the foil, um, the change to the foil cards, chance of drops, really did have a big impact. Bath Bombs. Plus five bombs. Bombs leave a trail of creep. Bombs leave a cloud of bubbles that block enemy shots. i got to say, the sprite work on this item is awesome. That, they look so good. Let's try out this. So, the trail of creep is... Oh, okay. I was wondering how exactly they do bubbles that block shots. But that actually makes perfect sense. I... So, they're kind of like a more defensive sad bomb. Interesting. I like the idea. Ooh, also a ballot. I didn't know a ballot was in the shop, but ballot is really cool. I'll definitely take ballot. Yeah, did not know it was in the shop. But yeah, using those bombs for combat is going to be kind of nice. They, uh, they seem like they'll work very well for us. Go see if we can find our boss. Thank you, thank you. Oh, where the hell's our boss? It's all the way back that way, really? It's going to take me all the way back over there. That's kind of annoying. Uh, oop, another hero font. We're getting lucky with those. As you can see, we're getting like three cards, like uh, three uh, cards most of the time. It's so nice. 
There you go. Got our blood back. Well deserved. <laughs> blood back's so good. I am back, sorry. I had to pause real quick. What were we doing? On our way to our boss fight. Okay, so we've got this Yera. I still don't really know what we're going to do. I have a feeling we're just going to end up carrying it to the chest and doubling our chests. Like, I haven't done that in a long time, but it is kind of like the way to use a, a Yera card if you don't have a, a good other, other thing to use it on. This is a slightly annoying room. God damn, the death's heads. Okay, good. They're all out of there now. Good, good, good. Let's keep this train moving. Oh, the fires. The fires are so nice. Oh, it's cool to see these these uh, thingies, the little stone grimaces on this floor. I like that. They fit in quite well here. Oh, hello. It's a poop room. It's all the poop. Not that we need any of them other than the, uh, the golden poop, but there you go. Right. I can't believe how much money we have. Oh, hello. Uh, I want to fight this dude, Gish. I, I love that. The the interface for that is so cool. It's so, Ballot is just so good. And it lets you skip fighting Mother, too, which is currently a bug, but very abusable. <laughs> I do kind of find that funny. Okay. Kind of nice having the tech baby follow the heart like King Baby, actually. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I really can't tell. I think it is. Oh, hello. Hello there, sir. Bit of a speed upgrade. Do you know what? I've never done this before in my life, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to Mausoleum for no reason other than I just kind of want to. I've never ever gone Mausoleum as a choice, because obviously it costs two hearts. It's kind of expensive to just go there for no reason. But I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. That is an eternal chest. Kind of like to get at that. I kind of like to get at that. What's this? Upon death, 50% chance to... Oh, whoopsie. Be revived and reroll. Ooh. Hell yes. Don't know how useful that's going to end up being. Got an error walk here. Error walk's kind of good. Wouldn't exactly call it the best, but... This is a tough room. Yep. As I said, tough room. Dude, these little f dudes won't die. Like, how much how much health do you have? How much damage do I not have? Are, it was a champion, I suppose. But still, come on now. Chill yourself, Oot. Ooh, what, what mod are these guys from? I like these enemies. Kind of cool. Oh my god, i got to be careful. Taking a bit of a beating right now. This has got to be secret room. It just looks like it. Yeah. And sadly, it's a greed secret room. So we don't care. Okay, hopefully the shop on this floor provides for us. Gives us some good stuff. I would very much like that. But yeah, I wonder if anyone has ever decided to go to the mausoleum. Like, on a whim, without wanting to go alt path um, victory. <laughs> it's just... I bet it just doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to take this. Big fan. Eh. Not that great. Not that bad. Yeah, someone added a lot of these rooms as well. These add, added these dudes in. I think that these guys fit in pretty well. Uh, why are we getting bad retro dudes? Hmm. Uh, picking up a red heart at full health containers gives you a temporary damage boost. Ooh. It's also pretty interesting. Slightly tough room here. You gotta goad this guy into picking up the right blocks, which he's clearly not doing right now. Wait, did he just pick up a skull and. <laughs> he picked up a skull and spawned a hearst on me. That's not fair. We can't do that. The world is pretty nice for us here. First time we've only spawned one card. Wow. Let's go to the shop over here. That is literally the first time we've only spawned one card. Okay, this room I'm getting hit in. Yep. You see those red blocks and you just know 
Some shit's coming your way. Definitely buy that. I'll buy that too. Another hero font. We've uh, been getting our life somewhat saved by those as of late. Do you know what? I'll buy Boko bombs too because I'm actually, I'm actually inclined to use my bombs right now. So I would like a good reason to do so. Sadly, no soul hearts there. Black hearts even. Yeah, these dudes can be annoying. Fire is actually a great way of dealing with these guys. Because it kind of takes them all out as they spawn. Kind of to take out the, the summoner dude as well. Having a hard time getting to him though. Honestly, just walk all these dudes into the fires and we should be okay. This, this dude's really giving me a hard time. There you go, we got him. Also, there's purple fires about too. Another really hard room, but well designed. I don't know if this is a modded room or not, but still, a very good room nonetheless. Okay. Calm down, you. Don't fire rocks at me. Hanged Man. The Sun. Temperance. Okay, good. That's what I'm looking for. Another blood bag. I had a sun card right there, so I thought, like, there's a good chance we at least get IV bag. We might as well play it until it pays out. Not that I'd be using IV bag, but you know what I mean. I don't know how IV bag would, would even work with electric dice. Oh, shit. Didn't realize it was that type of enemy. We've ended up on so much HP, even though things went so wrong. Also, Burn Hurt and Juice is giving us... A nice suite of burn orbitals here. I like it. Uh, Siren's probably better for us right now. I know we have a lot of familiars, but... Ooh, I, didn't, I didn't consider the fact that... Um... I did not consider the fact that we'd be knocking away our own bombs with the... Uh... The bombs like that. But you're going to steal some of my boys. Why do you keep spawning hosts on me? I wonder if these guys will even work. He stole my tech baby and flame baby. Ooh, pentagram. We needed that desperately. This right here is a choice. I think we take revelations just because we're nearing the end of the run. Some extra luck there. Ooh. I, I like the idea of the reroll. I'm going to take that. I'm going to keep the amount of keys. No, actually, I, I, I can rock a few more keys. There you go. We, we rocked one more. Cool. I'm going to say Revelation is just like a, a pretty good damage up for us as well as giving us some HP. Necessary HP. Um, so I think this puts us in a better spot nonetheless. Let's go ahead. Bit of Mausoleum. Lovely, lovely Mausoleum. Good, good. I don't know what that room's all about, but there you go. Oh, Pentagram plus this has been so good to us. Death card. Still, eh, not had any stellar cards yet. That's fine, but it would be nice to get a few, like, good foil cards here and there. Okay, keep her going. Kind of wish I'd have taken that cookie now as well, the one that gives us a, the temporary stat upgrade for the red hearts picked for the full health. Sounds like a really useful one. I mean, the, the stat upgrade, damage upgrade, whatever it was, might have been really low, so it might not be that good. It feels like it could be pretty good. I was surprised to see Revelation didn't get a nerf with the uh, with the update that came out. I really thought this would be one of the items that would get a pretty hefty uh, tap on the nose, considering just how strong it is. We got an Abyss, a Reverse. I don't think we need any of that, really. Go in here real quick. Good old void chest. Give us an item, maybe? It's a D8. No thank you. I'm pretty happy with our stats right now. Good. good. Bonk. And I, I really love the effect of, this, of these bombs. I don't know who made these, but they're very cool. In fact, can I find out? One, one second. Let me... Let me check something. Let me kill these guys first, but I want, I want to check something. Do these guys belong on this floor? Are they normally on this floor? Is this a modded thing? Right, let me just check something. Is it L? 
It's not L. Is it C? It is C. Encyclopedia. Inventory. Go. Bubble bath. Unknown mod. Damn. Still, whoever did it, props to you. It's very good. Props to you, fella. Oh, I just walked right into that. <laughs> oh, we got one of these portals back here. Take that out promptly. Much else left? No, thank you. Good, good. And you're taken out. Right. This heart shouldn't be too bad for us here. Still, our fire rate is pretty trash, but otherwise we've got some good stuff going on. I think the fires have been saving us a lot of this run. I've been doing a really good job of uh, keeping things at bay. And also, Nurse Goblin now is, is very nice to have. Took you out. We're going... Uh, we want to take Polaroid here. Justice. Two of Pentacles. I don't really know what a pentacle is. I have to say, I'm not really sure what a pentacle is, but apparently it means flies. <laughs> I've not heard that that term before. Boom! Beautiful. Ah! Oh my god, that was such a bad hit. It's fine, it's fine. Wait, have my, uh... My little tech baby's tech X shots firing slight amount of homing. I swear it like grabbed onto that enemy then. Rainbow heart in there. I don't think we need that right now. Oh, that was satisfying. This is the floor where I've really got to keep my eye out for potential um, door mimics because I get caught out by them on this floor so much. And obviously these... Like, you, you take full damage on this floor. Okay, so some good stuff here. I'm not going to take any of it. I'm still... Although, I've got to say, it would make us near invincible to take this. Yeah, I'm going to take this. It's going to make us really, really strong. Electric dice. Proving its uh, muster once again. I cannot see where any of the shots are right now. Right. Let's get this charged up and ready. Um, let's go with It Lives. I did not quite manage to destroy the eye really quickly there. Okay, that time I did. Ow. Trying to place the bombs to start blocking some shots, but I'm missing. Not that hard a fight. Um, we definitely aren't strong enough for Hush right now, so I think we just go up. And it looks like at this point we are definitely keeping our Yera for the chest. Just makes sense at this point. Ooh. A lot of Ipecac enemies here. Big grouping of them. It's okay, though. These guys are pretty weak. Like I said, I've been making a lot of Ipecac rooms for the alt path floor, so I'm um, getting a bit more used to a lot of the uh, Ipecac enemies. And I've been able to make some some very cool looking rooms. I'm very happy with how they've come out, to be honest. Like, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think they actually have come out decently. It's kind of hard to make good good looking rooms and good playing rooms. Uh, rooms that actually, like, gameplay wise, feel well, feel good to play, feel interesting, don't feel too samey or boring, and. It's a difficult balance to strike, so it's been an interesting process, and like I said, I've been, I think I feel like I've been doing a decent job of it, at least. I've been working with the devs to make sure they actually like the stuff that I'm uh, creating, and they seem pretty happy with it so far, so hopefully we should be seeing that relatively soon um, within the episodes. I'm going to pop this. Yeah, okay. Basically, you, you pop that because it can drop loads of stuff on the floor, like um, these batteries. And this range up kill. And a quarter there for some reason. Ah, but that's why you don't do it, because it immediately crashes your game. <laughs> One moment. Okay, we are at least back. Let's see if we can continue our run. I don't doubt that we'll be able to. 
Indeed, we can. Okay. I know the screen's flat for now, but there you go. It's back. It's back. Don't take too much damage. That would be dumb. Ooh, a booster pack. Nice. Draw two. Two more cards. Let's go. Hierophon. Oh my god. There's so many Hierophons. Why not take that? Okay, I can't remember which way we went. Was it this way? I don't think it was this way, but... We'll continue this way nonetheless. Hello, sir. But yeah, Solo, Solo Jacob and he's out. It can be interesting, but sadly it also is a little bit crashy. This, this couldn't have been the right way, to be honest. Seems like a fairly long path to be the wrong way. And I was wrong. That's fine. Keep pushing forward. And I think it was up next. Yeah, this looks right. Nope, it's not. God damn it. How could I be so wrong? Went all the wrong ways. Oh, no, we got enough keys. We got enough keys. The Yera is, is primed and ready. Oh, those purple fires can be a bitch. They can be very tough. But we have basically infinite HP because we have the chance to get um, three uses out of uh, our active in one go. Can, can you pop up, please? Thank you. Ow, I'm getting hit a lot, but I just don't care. Don't know what you do. At the minute, I just don't care. I mean, I care a little bit. <laughs> I shouldn't be getting hit quite as much as I am right now. Okay, this is the wrong way anyways. That time it only gave us one black heart. What are you doing? How could you betray me like this? I trusted you. Beautiful. I, Revelations was so, so the right pick. Oh, the Sacred Heart does have a, a certain efficacy about it now that um, we can get modded higher quality items, which I think is intriguing. Okay, this is a tough room. An interesting one, but a tough one. Good. Don't know whose fire is who, just hope for the best. Also, what are you doing here? Hello, sirs. Do not pick that up. Soul of Judas. Don't think we need that, really. Just stick some buggers to this boy. I've done with it. Oh, I just realized my big fan's blocking quite a lot of shots for me here. There you go. I like the I like the way it spreads slowly, so like it's got a good chance of blocking shots from whatever's on screen. It will stay up here. And they last, they linger for so long too, it's nice. Ow! Okay, in we go. Remember to Yera. Remember to Yera. Let's see what we might get. Did we get a reflected chest there? We did, nice. A uh, privilege detonation. Uh, enemies, uh, explosive enemies die on their own. Explosive enemies have the weakness effect. Bad. Bad. Decent. Bad. Conjoined somehow. Bad. Bad. Spun. And bad. God damn, that was pretty awful. Pretty awful, I gotta say. I did not go so hot. At least betrayal isn't quite as bad as it used to be. Oh my god, what a what is this nightmare fuel? There's some, some interesting custom rooms in the chest and stuff that I have yet to see, so it's kind of interesting to see some of these. Raven's Beak. Consume all pickups in the room. Gives a small but permanent damage up for each pickup consumed. The amount of damage is based on the quality of the pickup. Actually pretty interesting. I don't think it's that good uh, for us right now, but like overall, over the course of a run, I can imagine that being very useful. Especially if you get it on first floor. Oh, God. 
I need some charges quickly. I'm running out of health. It's okay, though. We're at the boss now. Occasionally shoot waves of fire. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. I like waves of fire. I think just, just planting, like, a field of bombs is actually the way to go here. We're going to be blocking so many of his shots. This, this went well. <laughs> this went very well. There you go. A very nice victory, very nice end to a very interesting run. I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.